Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. So, on the CCP beta, we have access to Deathless King Groot and able to awaken him and everything. Take him up to rank 2 and really do some testing for you guys to show you how good he is. So, I'm very excited. So, let's go ahead and just jump into a little bit of Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. Starting out with just a rank 1. Unduped king root deathless which is what a lot of us you know will be getting if you got all the pieces you will be able to you know acquire the seven star version take them up to level 25 at rank one and, and use it you know anywhere you want not awaken or anything so that's just what this is a little showcase of that and dude he feels incredible the anime look at the fire just it looks so cool i absolutely love the design and everything on this guy so for me personally, I was actually never a fan of King Groot. So King Groot used to suck, then he got buffed. And before he got buffed, you know, he was still a big tank and still regen like crazy, but the damage I think just really wasn't there. Then after he got buffed, I think that addressed the damage problem of his kit and a lot of people started to like Kinger after he got buffed but me just never really gave him the time of day to be honest you know um didn't like him before the buff didn't really bother after the buff and you know that that's been my experience with King Groot but now we have Deathless King Groot and first of all I just I love the Deathless concept I love the aesthetic look of like the health bars and everything look at that damage right up there Ooh, that was nice. Um, I just love the Deathless Champs, so that I really like. Plus, just the fiery aspect of King Groot, like fire and a tree, like that usually doesn't go together. So it's really cool that it, King Deathless King Groot here makes it work, you know. Um, yeah, just really wasn't a fan of King Groot before, but this is like this feels like a better version of King Groot, better, cooler. I can get him as a seven star potentially awaken too you know since we got deathless gilly awaken maybe i can get sky awaken so you know i'm i'm on board i am on board the deathless king group train so you can see this was a minute 34 seconds you know not incredible but not terrible either you know for a rank one seven star out the box this is what you're going to be getting if you got all the pieces it's not bad right now the most fitting fight we can take this man to and look at my health you know we are knocking on death's door we're fighting a what was this five six million health groot we're, this is some tree on tree action what more can you ask for in a group video than to have some i am groot on i am Groot action here so i didn't intentionally take all that damage getting here but once I, I i wasn't planning on fighting this boss but then i got here and i looked at my house i'm like oh this will be a perfect opportunity to really showcase King Groot's healing. So at this point now, King Groot is rank two. So we took him up a rank. This is rank two. This is also awakened. Just Sig 20 though. So you know, if we are able to get a, a dupe on Deathless King Groot through some objective or something through Mister of Woe, you know, it'll get him to Sig 20. So this is what that could be. You know, it's a possible version of an attainable Deathless King Groot here also though with the suicide mastery so that's maxed out liquid courage maxed out double edge also some max some points in the fury percentage mastery that's maxed out as well so some ideal masteries for deathless king Groot here but we know we are taking recoil damage you know with every single one of these special ones we've gotten our health down to 10 percent you know not a ton of health left but that's fine because i wanted to show you guys how powerful deathless king Groot's healing is it's not as powerful as og King Groot's healing, you know, there had to be some give and take somewhere, so his healing's a little bit not quite as good, but his damage is better. <laughs> definitely, his damage is definitely better. Um, plus, he's way cooler, and the regen is still good. Don't get me wrong, you know, he still has some pretty solid regen for sure. Uh, you know, we're getting access to that regen just uh, when we fall out of our, our malice state, I believe it's called, you know, with our furies. I'm not sure if the SIG ability, like more SIGs, increase that regen. Probably does. Not in touch. Don't quote me on that, but I think it would. Uh, so, you know, the higher SIG, you get this King Groot, the more healing I think he'll be getting. Uh, but really, the way to heal is with special three. So, if you want to be doing damage with Deathless King Groot, go for special twos. You, know, you can build up some Chrome Armor Breaks with special ones. But if you want healing, go for that special three when you're in Malice. You can see we're healing for 1500 per tick. That was 3,000 regeneration per second. Our health has now jumped up 
past 30 percent so that feels really good after that healing man ooh, it's it's feeling nice it's feeling nice so you know obviously if i was just going for speed on this fight i wouldn't be bothering with special threes but the point of this fight is to showcase king deathless king Greek's damage in a longer fight and to show his healing capability uh, th those are definitely the two parts i want to showcase here mainly the healing as well because you know we, we can do a lot of fights just to show off the damage and obviously we're not going to be fighting five million health opponents every day with that skin guru here but the regen is important that's going to be coming into play all the time uh and so yeah just having access to a very strong regen on special three is great so here we drop the special two you can see each hit there did about thirty-five thousand damage in red uh, and then boom, we apply an incinerate debuff. And notice Groot isn't shrugging it fast either. So that's really nice. And that is dealing 6,000 damage per tick. So that's 12,080 damage per second. And we can lock that in with a heavy attack. We can get a little pause. We can also spam heavies with Deathless King Groot against the wall, which is super nice. And then boom, we we'll drop another special two here. Boom, now we got two of those incinerates going in again heavy to pause that uh if you are in malice and you do the heavy it, you consume a fury but the pause lasts longer so that is something to keep in mind as well you see we just kind of lost a bunch of our furies because we were spamming our heavies but it's all totally all good and what what you want to do for sure is something i've been trying to do is uh, i like the thor relic on king group maybe there's a better relic let me know but with the thor relic you know if you throw it um uh, before the malice comes back you know you're applying an aptitude then you're getting fury so you're just making those furies more powerful so i, I think the thor relic's pretty solid for for deathless king Groot here and so now we're going to go for another special three to, to get some more healing so we're going to jump from 46 percent boom all the way up to 62 percent dude some super nice healing right there and you can see our damage is really good too man we got just passive dot plus our basic attacks you know aren't doing too bad uh, you know we got 10 perma armor bricks i love permanent stuff you know if, if you can get a permanent debuff applied to the opponent i love that absolutely just adore those types of mechanics um big fan of zemo for you know his, his bleeds like that but armor breaks are really cool too i still remember like way back in the day you know fighting king Groot and aq and stuff and you know just getting hit by his special one on purpose to get the perma armor break on yourself for willpower healing you know the, the healing strats back in the day good old good old king Groot, man it's i i really love the deathless system man uh, i think king deathless king Groot here is an incredible incredible addition um i i think i'm definitely gonna take him to rank two got some cosmic catalyst i think i'm at three three or something so once i get to four i think we're gonna take king deathless king Groot here up to rank two i think he'll be decent in battlegrounds i'm curious to see how he does on defense you know i'm he has a big health pool it might be like top five actually in the game at seven stars i'm not sure um but his health pool he's pretty tanky he can take some time to get down he's not probably gonna be the craziest defender but i don't know man might have to see how he does at rank two on offense and defense see if he's worthy of a spot in the deck and i think i'm just gonna take every deathless champion up to rank two anyway so especially if we can get them awakened i don't mind taking them all to rank two i think there's gonna be a quest you know to unlock the final one which is confirmed to be thanos uh i think to do that quest you're gonna have to have a full team of the deathless champions so then somehow get thanos or something to that effect so just having the all at rank two is going to come in handy eventually uh so yeah, i think i'm just gonna kind of lock in on taking every deathless champion to rank two i uh, took the G deathless geeting up to rank two could have a video on that soon uh yeah i really liking her as well but i, I definitely think king Groot here is better overall uh just this guy has a lot of detail he's, he's basically just like a better version of king Groot, in my opinion just a better cooler version and you know he's available at seven star whereas you know deathless guillotine was kind of like a pre-buff version of new guillotine with some changes like I, I don't know it just didn't feel as good don't get me wrong i like deathless guillotine i'm actually a fan of her i do like her but deathless king Groot here he just feels like a perfect 
sequel to a regular champion the perfect deathless sequel to a regular champion that's what deathless king group feels like i feel like they, they just knocked it out of the park clean home run with him we just did a really good job you can see we're ending that fight you know we started it with we were down at 10 percent health at one point finished with 89 percent health took about seven minutes 21 seconds some tree on tree action for you guys i hope you all enjoyed that I know I sure did. Deathless King Groot. i uh really excited we can finally claim this guy. Hopefully it's today. I don't know. that This is just when the embargo was for the CCP. So I figured I'd get it get it live, scheduled for it. So hopefully I can be claiming my King Groot in, in the actual game later today or, or soon. But yeah, that's going to do it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Deathless King Groot. Do you think he's way better than regular King Groot? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear your guys' feedback in the comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for some more content. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.